Okay, uh, as I told you, calibration is a crucial step if you want to know uh, the pose of your camera. So, to calibrate, you can either use uh, the OpenCV, the calibration tool, which works very well, and or you can use Aruco for calibration, the one you prefer. In any case, at the end, uh, as a result, you will get a, a, a calibration file, normally in uh, extension dot uh, YML, okay, which has the main parameters of calibration, okay, of a camera. Here you have an example of uh, one calibration of one of my cameras, and this is the calibration file, how it looks like, okay. It has the white image width, uh, which is uh, image height, necessaries, and here you have the um, uh, camera, which is called the camera matrix, which has here, this is uh, focal length in X and uh, focal length in Y, and this is the optical centers. And then you have the, the distortion coefficient here, okay? So this is a file you need to have if you want to do estimation of the pose, okay? Uh, when you calibrate, there is something that you must consider. And it normally asks you, uh, because calibration is based on, on taking picture with your camera, of a calibration board, okay? If you use a Ruko calibration board, okay, uh, you can download it from the SourceForge uh, project. And here it is, a Ruko calibration grid board, okay? If you use this, okay, what you get is something like that. So basically you take this file, you print it on a piece of paper, and then you take pictures of this with your camera. Once you have uh, the, the pictures, you use the tool Aruco uh, calibration from images, okay, and you just have to say where is the, the directory of your images, and it will do the calibration of your camera. But one of the parameters you have to specify here, also apart from the directory of the images, is the size, the physical size of the squares uh, when they are printed. So in order to do that, you have to take your tape measure and measure how much it uh, it is. Also, if you want to measure, you could say that the size is one. So uh, you define your metric. Okay. So then, when you do the estimation of the pose, uh, this one will be the reference uh, size of your. Uh, of your estimation of the translation. So the best thing is you take a tape measure and you measure how large your uh, markers are, okay? So once you have the calibration, you have the file and we can go to estimate the pose of the camera.